Dear Toastmasters, I am Alicia Che, Distinguished Toastmaster. I'm a member of Passion ESG Integration Toastmasters Club and One World Toastmasters Club. I want to help you do your pathways projects. Before I begin, I would like to suggest that you think about these two key questions. Number one, are you here to do a project, a speech project, or to learn public speaking skills? I suggest you think about these two questions because the outcomes will be different. When your mind is focusing on doing a project, you would likely ignore or not paying enough attention on meeting the objective. If you are here to learn public speaking skills, you will certainly want to make sure you meet the objective of every speech project because it is by meeting every speech objectives you learn the skills. In every speech, we learn one key skill and accumulatively you will learn all the skills and be a good public speaker. Otherwise, you will be just running through one by one, one speech by one speech, and not truly learning the skills. How do you know? You can check it out. At the end of every speech, or every three, six months, one year, you do a review. Be honest to yourself. Ask yourself if you have improved, if you have made good progress. Otherwise, why? You will realize that because you did not pay attention to these two questions. This is the last project of level one. And in this project, you need to do three speeches. First speech, second speech, and then evaluation. The first speech, again, is everything and anything. The purpose of this speech is to, for you to apply everything you have learned from the past three speeches. The icebreaker, speaking from your heart. The writing with a purpose, vocal variety, body language. Apply all this in this speech. Find a topic. Search through your heart. What do you want to talk about? Something in your heart you really want to share with the audience. Or something on your mind you have seen, something you think about, you read, you want to talk about. Or something you have been talking with your friends or you see around. This is the way you pick up a topic. After you have picked up a topic, then apply the writing with a purpose, vocal variety, body language, and deliver it. After delivering, you will receive feedback from your evaluator. Then look at the feedback, try to understand it, digest it, improve on it, repeat the same speech again to show that you have made improvement based on that feedback. Certainly, you can write a different speech for the second time when you deliver it. The point is you must improve on the feedback the event suggested to you when you deliver the first speech. This is how we learn we improve in Toastmasters. Remember, don't memorize your speech. Write it in a point form and then practice it, rehearse it. When you are eating, you can rehearse it in your mind. When you're showering, only five to seven minutes. Yes, this is five to seven minutes. Practice it within five to seven minutes. As you know, if you don't practice enough, you will very likely to exit five to seven minutes and immediately people know that you did not practice enough or you might speak less than five minutes, then you will not be qualified. Remember, the biggest secret of public speaking is to practice, 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 make perfect. After that, do an evaluation. Evaluation, as a beginner, the first time, I suggest that you want to pay attention on how you actually feel as an audience. As an audience, you want to ask yourself, did this speech touch your heart? Because this is the point. A speech, a good speech will touch your heart. If the speech did not touch your heart, why? Point it out, suggest it to the speaker. Another aspect is, did you understand the speech? Did the speech have the flow, the structure, the opening body and conclusion? Did it flow well, flow logically, so that you can understand, you can follow it well? Did the speech have opening body conclusion? Did it have a good message? Did it have a good purpose? Did you enjoy it? All these things, you can send it to the speaker. Remember, all that you have learned, the first speech icebreaker, speak from your heart. So you want to know that if the speaker speaking from the heart, if it did not, you want to suggest. Second, 
Did the speech with a purpose, a good purpose, the opening, body, and conclusion? Did the speech have a good message? Then, did the speaker have good vocal variety, good body gesture, good means purposeful? So if the speaker did not have it, make suggestion, right? Nonetheless, when you make suggestion, you want to be positive and uplifting, and also you want to be specific. A good evasion is uplifting, positive, encouraging, specific and to the point since this is online speech pay attention on the eye contact did the speaker look at the pinhole the camera pinhole otherwise you want to suggest did the speaker stand so it will always be good to stand i hope this will give you a clear understanding of what evaluation is all the best if you have time i encourage you to read through the entire manual there are a lot more things to read this video is to prepare you when you don't have time to read or if you have read it you don't really get the point and understand, then you can watch this video. It gives you a very direct guidance. Most importantly is enjoy your speech. Speak from your heart.